Today we meet again. We look at another example uh, involving area bounded by the curve and the y-axis. Uh, let's look at question 6. Okay. So question 6. Okay, we are supposed to find the area. I believe the area is may find the first quadrant area bounded by the curve. So this is very important. Eh? They are specifically I have uh, what you call that uh, emphasize on the first quadrant the curve y equals to 5 and x equals to 0 okay if you look at the curve y equals to x squared plus 3 yeah? okay this is a quadratic curve the minimum point and remember that this is your y intercept okay so if you sketch this, right, okay, at 3, okay, right, we are interested in the first quadrant, okay, first quadrant, so maybe we can maybe delete this line, okay, this is the graph, so this is x squared plus 3, okay, and then y equals to 5, Okay, let me change the color maybe mm, orange okay this is okay this is y equals to 5 and x equals to 0 is this line so as you can see clearly this is the area or the region bounded by all the condition so remember the condition y equals to 5 uh, technically this is x equals to 0 this line y equals to 5 and the curve okay before we find the area because uh, we are going to look at from the y-axis it's better for us to change the function uh, now is uh, y in terms of x so we need to change x in terms of y okay so see here it says x squared plus 3 equals to y and your x squared is y minus 3 okay this region x is greater than 0 so you take the positive square root okay your x is y minus 3 or you can also write this in index in form is this so technically this is going to be our function and now we write okay to find this the area okay let it be a okay we integrate see here that's uh, interesting this value 3 is not mentioned but has to be implied from the y-intercept so 3 will be our uh, lower limit the upper limit will be 5 and the function is y minus 3 to the power of half and we integrate with respect towards y okay let me go to the next page okay so i'll rewrite this your area you integrate from 3 to 5 okay y minus 3 power of half dy okay you use the from 5 formula there is a formula okay, for this um think if you integrate ax plus b has to be linear and dx okay the integration is this a n plus 1 and then you have ax plus b n plus 1 and plus c okay so i'm going to use this formula okay so let me change my color Okay, now the a but by using this remember that for this case your a here is one and your n is half okay so we get the okay when you use the formula here this part so we get 2 over 3 y minus 3 to the power of 3 over 2 and then you write down your 
limits okay substitute okay as you substitute 5 minus 3 becomes 2 to the power of 3 over 2 okay 0 okay when you use your calculator okay you will get this value huh? it will be 4 over 3 square root 2 unit squared so it's a very simple integration simple if you remember the formula okay so uh, let me go through this with you again okay the formula all right you have to change x in terms of y and remember that since we are just interested in the area in the first quadrant since your x is greater than zero take the positive square root okay right in terms of in index in what you call that in a power form so easy for us to integrate so you integrate this okay let me go through okay so you integrate make sure and this is very important when you divide okay show the substitution this value you can get it from the calculator and this is the exact value you don't need to change it into decimal okay so that's it all right thank you very much